They said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't last. White man, black man. America F1. America F1 coming to you straight from San Francisco, California. Sherman Tillman, Michael Lawler. America F1. Great episode of America F1, where we were going to review the Australian Grand Prix. Wow. A Red Bull didn't win. What oh. happened, Sherman? I think somebody had to have crashed. I don't think someone crashed. Somebody, engine went out. Nope, the engine didn't go out. It blew up. Nope. It was on fire. Nope. It was the brakes. It was the brakes. It was the brakes. <laughs> they have already figured out what's wrong. It well, won't happen again this year. Is that what they said? That's what they said. Is that, that's what they say? Well, that's what Red Bull said. So there's a brake manufacturer, because that's one of the only things Let's on the car. Let's talk about that later. Let's talk about the smooth operator, Carlos Sides. I told you, I told you, and I don't know how many times I got to be right around here. Like, all the time. I told you Carlos Sainz was a good driver. I told you Carlos Sainz was, you better put some respect on his name. I told you that last year. And I'm telling you that again this year. He is the number one property out of all the seats. There can be nobody else. He has to be the man. Carlos Sainz would be leading in the championship if he didn't have that appendix. Did you know that? Um. Anyways, the but the, did you know that? Okay, he'd be leading what? He'd be ahead of Max. How would he be ahead of Max? Because Max won the first two races. <laughs> Carlos Sainz won a race, and then he's he's a second and a third. He would have been ahead. He'd be statistically if he wouldn't have missed that last race. Yeah, if, when Red if Bull. he would have finished, he would have. When Red Bull get their shit together, they'll just win the rest of the races and it'll be over. Why you gotta? Because remember, why you gotta? Why you gotta be a dark cloud? Who was why leading the cloud? race when his car broke? Uh, well, Max. Yeah, Max was, he, and he was checking Max. out too. Even with a busted, even with the brake on, he was still right fast behind. Him. That that was well. That was crazy. Even with the, <laughs> the brake on, 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 stuck on, he, he was still in faster. DRS. That's crazy, dude. I know. That's how much faster that car is than everybody else. So, any even speculating on someone else winning the championship, a brick from outer space would have to <laughs> land and hit Max in the head, and then maybe you might win. I love that Carlos won this race, and you know, there's some great memes out there going. Well, now that he had his appendix out and he won, maybe we could take his tonsils out. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe he can lose a baby toe. <laughs> maybe he should have a, you know, um, uh, a knee operation or something. Oh, take out his molars, you oh, know. That's hilarious, dude. Um, you're so, we're, I think you were a, a bit uh, muted for a reason. Muted? I, yeah, like your sound wasn't coming in as well. But, but is I that why we got the new microphone? But I just corrected it, and now you okay, sound well, it's so it's good. Sherman's show. He's the boss. So You it's... sound so good now. All right. Um, but everybody, remember, America F1, like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Uh, we now have our first sponsor. It's Dubby Energy Drink. Dubby Energy Drink gives it's you more. Dubby. Dubby? Oh, Isn't like, it doobie? oh, that's right, dude. It's, it's doobie. doobie like it's a doobie. It's doobie. doobie. It's no, it's doobie. doobie. It's doobie. It's doobie. Oh, it's, Sherman got his a marijuana All right. sponsor. All right. let's, oh, I'm okay. Let's with start it. again. Let's start again. Let's start again. Let's start again. <laughs> All right. Is it doobie? Wait, or wait, doobie? wait, 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 wait. Let me start again. Let me start again. <laughs> doobie energy drink gives you more focus. It gives you more energy without the jitters. Use the code America F1 to get a discount. That's M E R I C A. F1 to get a discount on your doobie, doobie doobie energy drink. Is it is it really infused with with marijuana? Yeah. No, it's all a bunch you, of natural stuff. Are you should that marijuana's natural though and marijuana is a stimulant, it's an upper not a downer. It's an upper. No, marijuana is an upper. It's an But upper. I'm saying that doobie energy drinks an upper. But if, is it doobie or dubby? I just said doobie. <laughs> 
<clears throat> when you sent it to me, I'm like, Sherman got us a, a marijuana st- sponsorship, which I'm okay with. I'll wear which a pot leaf awesome. if you want me to. Oh, that, wait till we get the merch. I haven't smoked that stuff since 2015, but whatever. We'll, we'll, have, we'll wear the merch. You I'll know? support we'll, it. We'll support and... Get us a pot. Yeah. I'll wear a pot leaf hat if you if you if you get us to a race. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we'll be standing on the grid with to... pot leaves on. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I don't care. I'll wear a pot hat. I'll wear here's, a doobie here's hat. Some I don't, doobie, I don't some do- No, everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa I gotta drive, yo. <laughs> Stop with the doobies. Too much doobies. All right, what's the All right, Max, Max, Max. Talk about this break and actually go over what happened and how are they gonna fix it, Mike. The break stuck on on Max retired the end. <laughs> he was on fire. Not really. The break was on fire. Yeah. But was he? Did dis- you see him get out of the car in like a fury? No, he got out of the car. It's like, oh, it's on fire. Yeah, yeah, it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> They'll put it out. <laughs> He was he was in his street clothes so fast too. I have to give it up to him. I mean, it looked like one second he was getting out of the car, the next second he was in his street clothes, just like. Did he even take a shower? Well, for he didn't do anything. <laughs> he just came right out of his. Like, what are you talking about? Probably what, did. It wasn't even hot there. It was only like I think it was twenty degrees Celsius, which is like seventy degrees. So it wasn't that warm. So where are they going next? Japan. Suzuka. Japan. Is it this weekend? No, it's not this weekend. It's next weekend. This but when week, are you leaving? I'm leaving uh, next week. What time? What day? Hey, man, I'm not telling people on 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 the stream when we're when I'm leaving. Why? We think they're gonna assassinate your ass. No, or I don't want them to mess up my plane. You all, you hear all these things with these planes nowadays. What do you mean? I don't want nobody messing with my plane. How is someone gonna mess with you? I don't plane? know. I don't know. I don't know. What plane? You don't have a plane. I got to get over there. It's, it's, it's Listen, an airplane ride. I don't want nobody messing with the plane. You've been, you've what, been hearing all what these is things. It like a fourteen-hour airplane it's ride. A, it's going to be eleven hours. Oh, that's nothing. I'm going to Thailand. That's a twenty-hour airplane ride. You have nothing. I'm not on telling me. anybody when I'm leaving. I'm not telling anybody what plane I'm Sherman's on. Sherman's going on Tuesday. Just I let, let it be known. I don't want anybody messing with You can with meet. My you plane. can greet him at the airport. Okay. <laughs> I don't want nobody messing with. Me. Have a safe trip, Sherman. Okay. All right. Oh my God. All right. Yeah, and it's just me. You know, the family's going to stay home, which is awesome. You're so, oh, you're, the best way to travel is by yourself. It is. It Bar is. none. There's nothing better. Unless you have a new lover, then that's completely different. So, did you know that when Max went out, there was a loud, the louder cheer than when the race, when they're on the podium. The, when you, if you get the decibel levels and... I got the decibel levels because I turned the sound up. I put my little decibel meter. Up. I'm you a, have a I'm, decibel meter? I'm, I'm a total nerd. Total How the nerd. hell? Where did you get to- a decibel meter from? Nerd. So I put the decibel meter up to the TV and there was louder cheers when he went out than when Carlos Sainz was on the podium. Well, of course, because everyone's sick of watching the Red Bull just dominate the race like he was faster than the rest of the field, and the brakes were on. I mean, what what the hell? And what, what's even better is the pundits on TV. What's were, a pundit? Like you know, like a journalist. Like That's we're pundit. pundits, kind of. You know, it's, I just thought you know, we were idiots. I mean, yeah, well, we are idiots, but especially you. But well, um, not me, not as much. I'm not. Uh, as Sherman much just idiot. said that he yeah. has a decibel meter. Who is the bigger dork? <laughs> That's nerd stuff. <laughs> I, I like electronics. I don't even have a that. decibel meter. What the oh, f- you, you don't need that. You should have that because you're a musician. You should have a decibel meter. For what? You should be caring about the audience and what they're listening to. The only and people how who loud carry it decibel is. meters are like uh, the tech like, people. No, like uh, building inspectors, so they can close you down because you're making too much noise. Well, back to what I was saying because I'm way more important and I look a lot better. Look at this. Look at this sweatshirt. <laughs> look at how skinny. Look how clean the sweatshirt. Look how skinny Uncle Mike. You is. are looking skinny. I'm. I'll be there. Where skinny. No, you skinnier. You gotta, you gotta stop eating. You every time we go out, you go, you have to eat. You eat like three times what I eat. Then you get dessert. All right. Then you probably go home and drink, and All then right. like, hey, let's just get off of me now for a second. <laughs> let's go back to Max. All right, let's talk about Max. That's what we should be talking about. If Sherman we had should to be, run, we from, shouldn't be talking about me, right? If Sherman yeah. had to run from here to the donut shop, it would be a tough. <laughs> it's I, I, only I, a block give away. Me too. Break. I'm not into donuts. Look at this body. Ugh. I dare you to take your shirt off. I'll take my shirt off. Sure. I will. No, no, no. It's okay. 
I will take my shirt off. Okay, what's off next on the hip parade? Well, George Russell always win, and and this is this is I don't know what it's a what it is. I really don't. Every time Carlos Sainz wins a race, he's won three races. He's a three time Grand Prix champion. It only took him ten years to do Shit, that. Too. I don't talk about Carlos. Okay, <laughs> smooth operator. That's one race every every three years. I, or something. Shut up. Shut up. So he's won three races, and at each race that he wins, George Russell crashes. And George Russell made a huge mistake. At each race that Carlos Sainz wins, George crashes. Okay. That, it's that, crazy. That was the worst crash of his career so far. And he, he went into the corner, and you saw it. He, got, he was in the, the wash from Alonzo's car. Okay. And once that happened, he was done. Just and, absolutely done. But, you know, I've seen other people be in the wash before, excuse me, but they don't crash like that. Well, no, he, when he was, he was, he was pushing a little too hard. And he, when he got to the, when he got to the apex of the corner and you saw it, the car did not turn and he just went straight into the wall. Now, here's a technical question I have for you, Mike. Now, you know, you've been following a guy for a couple laps. Now, I see sometimes, like, I see Lewis do this a lot and I see, um, uh, Vettel, when he was in his heyday, I see him do that, and I see Alonzo do that. Instead of following them directly, sometimes they're a little offline, so they won't be in the direct wash. And they'll take, like, all right, the f- this one lap I'm following you, I took this line. The second lap I follow you, I might take a little bit different line to see if I can make up a little bit more time. Well, that if go back and watch when when he got to the apex of the corner, he was in the he was in the direct wash of the car ahead of him, and when he did that. It just the car just went like that. He lost all his aerodynamics and he lost his braking. And these cars are on, they're such on a on a knife's edge. It's like you can't. And he made it was a dumb mistake he made so too. So my question to you would be: Is that driver error? Meaning that is it racecraft? Like he shouldn't have been knowing who Alonzo oh, is no, and knowing the tactics all. that Alonzo. A pl- it wasn't deploys. Alonzo's fault. Alonzo didn't do anything. It was well, Alonzo got a 20 second penalty. For that? Yes. Why? 20 seconds. We'll talk about that in a second, but I want to get really to this point and I want you to make this clearer to the audience. You don't see when Lewis is following like that and he got brake checked in it, as you remember in Jeddah by uh, Max Verstappen. He didn't, he didn't crash. Max Verstappen, I don't know who Max Verstappen is. Shut up. <laughs> you, he didn't crash, right? <laughs> So, and I've seen other uh, people get brake tested or be sure real Alonzo close. Are you sure Alonzo got a penalty then, then, for that? Wait, wait, get back. To, yes, I'm 100% sure. For, for that, for the 20 Russell seconds, thing? yes. Came wait, out. What did, the, what did he do, though? Well, we're not there yet. Uh-huh. Stop skipping. Don't skip. Don't skip. I'm a skipper, Okay? I'm a Don't skip. skip. <laughs> All right? We're not on a ship. You're not skipping. All right. Answer that question for the audience, though, Mike. Do you think that's race craft? Because it seems like every time George Russell is under a lot of pressure near the end of the race, he crashes. Yeah, but he that's happened to mistakes. everybody. I but mean, he keeps doing it. No. He, and he's, yeah. is he the leader of your team? Would you take him as the leader of your team? Well, you're going to have to wait, next listen, year. Listen, would you take him as the leader of your team over Carlos Sainz or Fernando Alonso? Oh, Fernando. I mean, uh, Carlos Sainz is a two driver. He's not a number one driver. George, I guess, could be the leader of Mercedes because they're either gonna they're either gonna put a youngin in the car next year or Vettel's gonna be in the car next year. But there's really no such thing as a team leader in the driver role. They, Vettel's not gonna be in the car. There's two drivers on one team. They have really nothing to do with one another. Half but, the time they don't they don't tell each other their secrets. I, if we were on a team, I wouldn't tell you nothing. Like, how's the car? I'm uh, just be like, good. Come on, you wouldn't do that to me. Though. Oh, hell yeah. I'd you wouldn't do, do it to anybody. To I'd do it to you especially. You wouldn't do it to me. Oh my God. So here's the, here's the thing. When George Russell was in the middle of the track, on the side, his car was like this, on its side. They only called for a VSC, which is a virtual safety car. Because it was you, the last lap. Do you think that should have been a red flag or a double yellow, Mike? No. Why? Because it was the last lap. There were no it doesn't matter. Cars are still on the track. What if a car 
came around that corner and smashed into George Russell. Well, they they well they put a yellow flag up to be careful. They put a VC, a virtual safety. Yeah, car. but that meant everyone to slow down. But and- they, that doesn't tell you why, because a double yellow means that something is on the track, either a marshal, a car, or a person. There's something on the track. <sighs> Okay, a red flag means you slow down significantly and you're almost ready to stop if have to be. And the reason why I say it's a red flag or a double yellow is because that alerts you as a driver that there's something on the track. A virtual safety car could be there's debris. There could be something off the track. It doesn't specifically mean there's something on the track. And with those other two flags, it means there's something on the track. Yeah, but when you came there's around- a guy. In his car, turned over. Come on, Mike. It was a slow corner, and when you came around the corner, you'd see the car in the middle of the street upside down, and and no one hit him. So it was it, it, ne- never mind. Okay, I got you here. I got you. You <laughs> fell into my trap. Sure, I laid this trap really, really, really with the best cognitive abilities. Cognitive. That I have. Oh my gosh. Okay. Because I'm a really thinker. pushing it right now. I'm a We're critical using big thinker, words. okay? And I trapped Mike just now. Because over the weekend in China, they had a race and it was the hypercar. The whack. And a car was in the middle of the track. And guess what happened, Mike? Somebody hit the car in the middle of the track. Somebody hit the car in the middle of the track. And this is on the <clears> same <throat> weekend that this happened with George Russell. Did someone hit George Russell? No, no one hit George okay, Russell. Then never but that mind. just because it didn't happen doesn't mean it could have happened. They put. Did you hear Russell- the panic? And I sent it to you. Did you hear the panic in George Russell's voice? Well, yeah, it's because he just the red up. flag, red flag, red flag. It's a red flag. I'm in the middle. The red flag, red flag, red flag, 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 red flag. Did you hear that, Mike? Actually, I don't remember the volume. I don't, I don't think I had the volume on. I saw it. You sent it to me. Would you have been asking for a red flag if that was you in the middle of the track? No. Now, here's my conspiracy theory. The oh, reason no. why George Russell asked for a red flag instead of a double yellow or something else is because when there's a red flag on the last lap, do you know what happens, Mike? Nope. What happens, Jim? Well, I thought you would not know this. No, why? Because you don't know shit, okay? Basically. Okay, so the re- reason why... George Russell really wants. I mean, he of course he's in panic mode, but if it's a red flag on the last lap, guess what happens? It's a count back. So that last lap doesn't happen. So that means that George Russell's crash doesn't happen. That means that George Russell finishes in the points. You take the places of where everybody is when that red flag happens, and you go back a lap, and George Russell would have still been in the points that's the conspiracy theory that some people are putting out the reason why he called for the red flag is that he knew because he he is he is in charge of the the union of the drivers okay he's the driver representative so he knew that that would be a count back and that's how the conspiracy nuts are saying okay conspiracy nuts he made a (laughs) boo-boo um They're blaming it on 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 uh, Alonzo. I guess Alonzo went into that corner a little slower than he was supposed to, or something, because that's called racecraft. So and um, yes, he got a twenty second. Twenty. Penalty? So Alonzo got a twenty second penalty. He went from I think he went from sixth to eighth, and they said that it was dangerous driving. That they looked at that telemetry and that he then he had, must he must he must have he must have so. Uh, so Back the corner up a little bit. Yes. So what he did is he braked, and 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 George didn't 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 see it coming, and then of course. He, and then he ended up in the wash and in the and, wall. And that's why I asked you is that racecraft because well, a, it's, so it's, wait 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 let me finish my point real quick. So he breaks a hundred meters less on this lap. He you know slows, what, he, what he did is he didn't get back to the gas like yes, he was supposed to. Correct. So he slowed down um, on if that's purpose. That's what he did. That's what yes. he did. Yes. That's definitely racecraft. It's a okay. little naughty. Okay. But look what look at the result. <laughs> George Russell ended up in the wall and he was way ahead of him. Right. So, so I remember maybe I'm gonna go back. This is 24. I'm gonna go back to maybe 2020 at Spa. Lewis, because Vettel was still in the car. He was at Ferrari, right? In 2020, am I right? Yeah. Okay. But they had no horsepower that year, so they weren't very good. So it might have been 219. Might have been 2019. Yeah. So 2019, 
Lewis Hamilton's spy is going up the crest, and you Vettel's mean going, right behind he's going him. Up on Rouge, yes, and, and Vettel's right behind him, and Lewis took this corner. He slowed down a little bit, so Vettel had to break so he could get a more of a, a a gap between the two, and that's what he did. That's racecraft. There was no penalty. Vettel saw it coming, had to slow down, and then Ham- Hamilton had a bigger gap than he had the previous lap. And so I think Alonso's doing because these are old school dudes, man. They're they're from this is racecraft. Well, it's a go karting trick. Yeah. it's like you it's slow like, down, the other guy hits the brakes, and then you speed away. Well, the, there's another go kart trick is when you, you you sort of drive off the track a little bit and throw rocks and dust at your guy behind you it's mm-hmm. it's sort of dirty but it's not um but is that it, a 20 second penalty mike i mean remember uh, that remember, remember that it jetta freaking max brake tested hamilton and he only got 10 seconds what's brake tested where you, the guy's right behind you and you just hit the damn brakes well when you're going back into the gas yeah that's brake checking brake, brake checking sorry yeah. well they call it brake testing brake checking sorry all right that's like no brake testing all right brake checking sorry anyways but you see what i'm saying one got 10 seconds the other got 20 Dude, it's seconds. like it's typical with these every year remember every race they have different stewards okay and they're always ex-drivers yeah um, are they always ex-drivers i think so yeah i don't think they're always i'm pretty sure they're extra well they're usually ex-drivers and I don't know what they must pay them pretty good because they they have to show they have to go to the race, they have to be there for the whole weekend. Do they, you think that the F- and then there's a racing director right who oversees everything like Michael Messi who famously got got uh, fired after the 2021 uh, debacle at Abu Dhabi, but I still blame that on uh, Mercedes because they didn't pit Hamilton. Okay, don't go back to that. They didn't need to pit Hamilton. <laughs> and Hamilton okay. blew it at Baku. Anyways. They wouldn't have had. They wouldn't have had the Max uh, Verstappen's the 2021 just, just world stop champion. It. Stop. Let's, let's not go back to that. Okay, I'm not even going to answer those. <laughs> What's stupid. the next thing on the list? No, I'm not going to even answer that. But what I want to know is why don't and this is kind of getting ahead and maybe thinking outside the box, which it's obviously that the FIA and Formula One doesn't do. Why don't they have permanent stewards at every race? The same people at every race pay them to go to all the races. And at least maybe they don't want the same schedule or whatever. But it might be too much for the family. At least have the same group for half the season and the other same group for the other half of the season. And have some consistency. I don't know. Unless don't. consistency is what you don't want. Well, the rule you should just have rules and that should be that. And they just don't seem to have like... You know, there's a bunch of rules that are like very set in stone. Like if you come mm-hmm. out of the pits because somebody came over and they drove over the white line going into turn one, mm-hmm. that's a five second penalty, I think, no matter what. Um, if you speed in the pits, that's a whatever penalty. But like this whole nonsense where like people do stuff when they're like, like they're giving, I can't believe they're giving Alonzo a 20 second penalty well, they, for, for. Yeah, they gave him 20 seconds. For driving. That's the whole point to. To, to racing is to is it's a mental game and he mentally drove George into the wall which is what you're supposed to do I mean I, I as a driver that's I mean you're you're not supposed to let your guy I'm not supposed to let this guy pass me because mm-hmm. he, he was because I guess George was a little faster than uh, Alonzo at that period of time and him and Michael Two years in a row, and it was I think it was the '95 and the night the 2005 and 2006 race at Imola. Mm-hmm. One year Michael was ahead, and he can, and Alonso was faster, but he was behind, but he couldn't get by Michael because Michael's really good. The, the next year Alonso was ahead, and Michael was behind, but Alonso's pretty good too. So <laughs> and he couldn't get ahead. And he either. couldn't get ahead either. So, but they were doing every little trick that he did in this race. That they're always going to do. They know, you know what they're going to do because you do the same thing. And, and so that's why I asked you, is it race crap? And is George yeah. still not ready? Him, I don't know. I didn't know they gave him a 20 second. I don't know. why. I didn't know they gave him a 20 second penalty because when the race was over, I just turned it off and moved on with my well, life. Because I'm going to tell you something and it's going to hurt you. Really? I send you information so you can keep up because I know <laughs> you don't pay attention to everything. So I send it to you, I text it to you, and you fucking don't read it. I did read it. I don't remember you sending I me a text. I sent you something about the 20-second penalty no, exactly when it happened. Did you? Yes. All right. I and just you, didn't know what it was for. Oh, my God. 
on. And what does it matter? It's after the race is over. But I they, hate when they give penalties after the race is over. It makes no sense. Give the penalty in the middle of the race uh, so they know they got a penalty. I hate my life. <laughs> All right. Lewis Hamilton. Someone pressed a button. Not a good race. Back at Brackley. A button? Someone pressed a button and killed Lewis Hamilton's car. They I do? didn't hear a pop. I didn't hear anything. What do you mean they killed his car? Listen to me. When he was driving, all of a sudden, everything just went off. No warning on the car. Because usually on the car, on the steering wheel, there's those little lights up at the top. Green, red, yellow. They usually go yellow before the engine has problems. Nothing happened. It just was on, and it was like you hit a light switch. No noise, and it just off. Huh. I thought that was strange. Even Lewis Hamilton says, I've never seen that happen before. He'd been driving a long time. Yeah. He didn't hear a noise. Well, see, that's the problem with um, when people think cars blow up. They don't yeah. blow up. They just turn off. It's just you go from a, it's just silence. It's the worst. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's the worst sound in, in a race car driver's life is when not, it's just. Because you don't know what there's happened. No, there's nothing you can do. You're done. You, I mean, did, did he not finish the race? He did not. Did when you did, watch this race? This, yeah, but when did this happen? <laughs> oh, that's right. He did. He just pulled over to the side of the road. You're right. Yes. That's because he was so far behind. He wasn't even in the race. He was like in 11th or something like that. He was going to end up being like 10th. And he says this is the worst start of his career. Oh, he said this is the worst car he's ever had. Well, he said that, and then he said this is the worst start. Well, of remember, his he started off in a McLaren and almost won the championship his first year, and he's had a car... Under him, basically every year except for 2013, that car was I. Ah, uh, 2010's car was pretty bad, wasn't it? No, it was a 2009 car that started off bad. In 2010, they were pretty good. No. Yeah, I, 10, I, 11, I and thought, 12. I thought 9 and 10, they were pretty bad because no, they only nine, won one race. 9, they weren't that good, but Those 10, were, they were better. 11, they were pretty good. 12, they should have won the championship. They should have won the championship. That's when he left because he's then like, he if left I can't win that, now, then and I'm out of here. They, they were like the Ferrari team that year where they just yeah. made one stupid mistake. And which is... Her. I'm almost happy. I'm not almost happy. I'm happy that he's leaving because it just looks like Mercedes, like I've been saying, not only are they a dumpster fire, like I said. Well, everybody left. Everyone's left the but, team. But The wait. guy who did the engines left the team. Yes. The Vials left the yes. team. Their aerodynamicists just yes. left the team. Um, either Red Bull got them or Ferrari got them. So I don't know what's going on. If, if they're not paying people. Or people Everybody's are- gone. And what I also said... That Mercedes would be a midfield team. They are a midfield team. And where are they now? They're They're a midfield midfield team. You're not hearing this anywhere. You're listening to all these other stupid podcasts. I won't call them stupid. But you don't hear that stuff. We make predictions. And not only are our predictions right, they're pretty... uh, Sometimes Sherman's predictions are are right, but sometimes they're really wrong. I'm batting like a thousand this year, I don't know about that. I'm batting a thousand. Maybe about 155 You're batting about 750. I'm batting a thousand. (laughs) Okay, Mr. Mr. Thousand. So I feel bad for Lewis. He he has a shit car. But George Russell seems to be doing, at least getting more out of the car than Lewis, which also concerns me. That doesn't mean anything. He's getting the the best out of a car that's not going to win anything. So what? It means nothing. But I don't want to hear any more complaints. Well, because we don't know what was wrong with Lewis's car. Because remember, it broke. So yeah, but I, I, it could have been broken. I don't want to hear Lewis complain about the car anymore. Lewis is always going to complain. About but the I don't want to hear it anymore. Well, then don't listen to him. Then I, I think I'm going to start muting his sound. There you go. No, because like at this point, we know the car. Lewis, we know the car is bad. Can you please just drive it? That was last year. It's this car is worse than last year. I think. It's pretty, though. It is a pretty car, but it's worse. Remember, last year, Lewis finished third in the Constructors. Yeah. And he almost finished second. But their It cars, came down to the last race. Well, it's so funny that the Red Bull stole their car design, and they're going to win every race, basically, this year. So. My man, the gift that keeps on giving. Who? I told you last year. I told Mike that Yuki would still be in the car, and he is. I told Mike last year, and I told you out there. In the ether world, I told you that Yuki was a good driver. I told you Yuki was fast over a lap. He's beating the living crap out of Daniel Ricciardo. And he's beating Daniel Ricciardo so bad that they're saying that if Daniel Ricciardo doesn't get his form back 
soon, and I do mean soon, like within two races, guess who's going to be back in the car? Liam Lawson. That's right. I told you, and I told you that Yuki's a damn good driver. If he gets a better engineer, you better watch out. Okay. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on with Daniel Ricardo's career. He's, He's just- washed. I guess he is. He's I mean, washed at McLaren. Make, He's washed now. It makes no He's sense. Washed. And then last He's done. last summer before they put him in the in the Toro Rosso, that's what we're going to call that team from now. Yeah, because that cash um, out visa. Anyways, he went out and tested the Red <sighs> Bull, and visa. his lap times were like would have put him on the front row. I'm like, what? What's going? on? I told on? you it was lightning in the bottle. I told you. You it's didn't weird. listen. Lightning in the bottle. It's weird. Yeah, people lightning don't forget how to drive, though. It's just bizarre what what happened <laughs> to his career. He even said that. After Yuki had done his uh, qualifying lap, he said, um, once he did that lap, even with the track getting better, I knew I couldn't beat that lap. He said that. Well, and their car is not very good either. So, Yuki got seven. But some people are better in, in, in hoopty cars. He's just not in a good car right now. If you're not in a good car, it'll make you look bad. So maybe he'll be in IndyCar next year or the WEC. Uh, but he's think, still making pretty good money, and he'll probably still be... Well, the guy's making a boatload of money. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Made a boatload of money. I, I don't. I don't feel bad for Daniel Ricardo. I just don't know what what the hell's going on with if he's going to get beat by Yuki Sonoda, who is not a good driver. I keep he's telling fast. Shane, he's no, fast. He's fast. Quick not. over one lap. He's quick over one lap. They're not putting him in the Red Bull. They should, and I think it's racism. Oh, it is. They don't. It's. It's. He's Asian. No, seriously, I think it's racism. Dude, it's not racism. It There's no such thing. It's the, the stopwatch doesn't lie. Period. Yeah, and Yuki's fast. He's okay. Listen, listen. Who was in the car last year? DeVries. Did yeah. Yuki beat him? Yes. Then who was in the car? Lawson. Did Yuki beat him? Yes. Now who's in the car? Ricardo. Did Yuki beat him? Yes. When are you gonna freaking? What are you gonna keep doing? Throw everybody and their mom in this car. So if somebody beats Yuki. Yuki's better. Dude, Get, if you put Yuki's him, better. If you put Yuki in the car against Verstappen, Verstappen would be a second a lap every time, everywhere. Yuki will be better in qualifying oh, than okay. Checo. Than Checo. No, Checo's not going anywhere. I know he's not, but I'm saying Yuki would be better in qualifying than Checo. He's faster than Checo over There's one There's already lap. a big rumor going around that oh, yeah. Checo's been... Checo, yeah, he's yeah, going to yeah. get renewed for and next year. And we said that. Yeah. We said that. All right, we said we that. Said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We said that. We told everybody. Uh, everybody why would was they like, get oh, rid of him? They, Every year exactly. he's in there, they won the championship. Yes. You're not going to get rid of him, so... Because we're right. And they... Or you know, I'm right. Okay, right. now the, the Mercedes seat is the seat... I, I, I thought it was a good seat. And no. I thought I thought Vettel might come back. I don't want to go to Mercedes now. And Vettel would come back, but he's going to be in the Mercedes, and I don't think they're. I don't know no, he's not. On. I don't know why you keep saying Vettel's going to Mercedes. Why do you keep spreading that rumor? Well, because it's, it's not the true. only good seat that's available nah, right now, and Vettel's going to do WC stay, now. We're, Alonso's going to stay at, at uh, Aston Martin next yeah. year, so unless they give him the Red Bull seat, which it's already a big rumor going around that Checo's going to be renewed. So why would he leave there? When that team, the Aston Martin team, is going to be the new Honda team. And they're going to pay him, you know, a multi-year contract. I don't contract. know if he's going to still be there because he's 42 now. He'll be 43 next year. Is he going to race when he's 44? Uh, I think he's going to keep going. He's still fast. He's still quick. He still yeah, has the knowledge. Like, he's still Fernando's. Why? But remember, he's like, he's 42 years old. If he still has... The stopwatch don't lie. I just heard it no, like five no, minutes I'm just, ago. I'm just saying. So if he still has the time... And he's still fast, and he's still quick. But Why still, wouldn't you keep it's him? Still, Father Time is ticking. Well, it's ticking. Let's this, find out. The second he can't see anymore, he's done. That's okay. The well, problem. let's find out. All right. And then we can replace him mid-season. Okay. Let's find out. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna bring him back next year. But, yeah. So uh, that's what I'm saying. Let's but I don't, find I don't out. I don't think I don't think going to the Mercedes team right no. now is a good idea. If if I was Mercedes, I'd be the number one guy on my list would be Carlos Sainz. But if I'm no, Car- Carlos Sainz is going to Audi. So just stop. Why do you always say you don't know where they're going? Yeah, That's yeah. what he's linked to. Doesn't mean he wants to go there because he's gonna. Where else is he gonna go? The guy's all thirty years old. He's in the prime of his career. He goes to Audi. Audi's not winning next year. They're not gonna win the year after that. They're gonna. They're gonna be three, yeah, four they're years. Gonna, out. They're gonna pay him more money. Yeah. He's making now, so he's, he's going there. He's gonna be three, four years out of actually even winning a race. Okay. Well, this is a good another prediction. It could be. I mean, maybe Botas goes back to uh, Mercedes. That would be my choice. Yeah, it's it's either going to be Vettel or Botas, I think. 
That would be I don't my think choice. I don't think I would Alonso, go Valtteri. But Alonso might end up in that seat too. You never know. He might, but I don't think going to Mercedes is as hot as it used to be. You never know though, because they could pop out next year. But no one's gonna. But, <laughs> no looking, one's gonna build at the a track car record. They're, they're building this this era car is shit. Well, they they didn't they missed they missed the they missed boat. it they missed it so and the because the the Red Bull is so much faster than everyone and no one knows what the Red Bull are doing that's the problem and they they're like they're they completely built a brand new car for this year and the new car it's, it's almost like than last year. It's, it's almost like they should have keep, keep developing the last year's car that looks like the Red Bull now wait, wait <laughs> that's you know what funny. one question I have for you is why didn't Visa Cash App R and B Toro Rosso why didn't they just take Last year's Red Bull car. That's what they got. No, this the exact copy of last year's car That's and run it, it this year. That's it, what they're doing. It can't be because they're finishing seventh and eighth. Why? Because well, they're, they're, it's 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 Toro Rosso. They don't have any money. They're not putting the money into the car, and they have uh, Daniel Ricciardo and Yuki Tsunoda as their drivers, who are not top tier drivers. So Yuki's that's good. another reason. Yuki's good. Yuki's good. Yuki's no, good. He's Yuki's not. good. Yuki's good. You can see him wobbling through the center of the corner. He's not very fast. So, all right, Checo has his new. Rumor of a new contract for 25, like we said he would. I think but they're going to give him a two-year deal. They only gave, I hear it's only one, but they should give him a two-year. No, they'll probably give him a two-year no, deal. No, because then it's new regulations, and then they may want to reconsider. And I think what Red Bull has been doing is just giving one-year well, contracts. Well, you know, you know what, you know what a two-year contract means in, in, in Formula One? It means it's a one-year contract. So. <laughs> <laughs> and a one-year contract means you might be gone in six Maybe, months. Yeah. <laughs> like Daniel Ricciardo might be sitting at the house come summertime yeah, i feel bad for daniel i just think he's you know i think he should stay in formula one how just, no one's gonna give him a ride now no, he's on I, he's on like a hoopty team no, and he can't and, do and nothing. this is why i i think he should go to like well haas is actually looking pretty decent they scored you know they got ninth and tenth yeah but those, that, that was a lucky ninth and tenth because remember uh russell broke yeah hamilton broke yeah who else broke somebody That's else it. broke no that was it no, and, and, and Verstupid broke. So remember, yeah. those are three guys. They wouldn't have been in the top ten if it wasn't for those three people breaking. Yeah. I yeah. told you, there. If, if the Haas team finishes tenth or better, that's like a that win for them because their car's not that good. Now, last but not least, before we uh, conclude and then talk a little bit about Suzuka, I have to ask you about <laughs> what, 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 the whole thing at Williams where they took – your buddy Logan Sargent out of the car and they had Alex Albon drive his car and still didn't score a point and still wasn't well, close I, to scoring I can't, a point. They, I can't I think figure out how they don't have another tub. That makes no sense to me. They only have two tubs. What the, what they don't, they can't build. I mean, that just makes no sense to me. It's like, well, how can you not have a tub? And they said, they're not going to have one for a couple races. Yes, I don't get it. They didn't have one for the race before they that. A, they have like a huge factory with like six or 700 people working there. Like what? They have all the stuff to build the Why stuff. didn't they bring the tub, Mike? They don't. They said it's not. they don't have one. I mean, why though? Why? I, I have why? no idea. That team must not have any money. I mean, that's the only thing they can... But a tub? A tub that... I guess that's the most expensive bit they have to build for the car, but a tub? They don't have a tub. They don't, they don't have tub. three tubs? No, they don't have three tubs. And they haven't had it all season. I just don't get it. Well, yeah, as much as Logan Sargent crashes, I don't get it. Well, the... <laughs> <laughs> But everyone, I remember there was like this this controversy that like they took Logan out of the car and they gave oh. Albon his car. Well, there's a reason. Why is it? What's the reason? Why did they give Logan? Well, because he has. Oh, well, Albon's a lot better. Than there Logan you go. Sargent. Anyways, and Albon, and Logan might crash the car and again Sargent in the race. Shouldn't be in that car. No, Liam Nielsen should be. Is it Liam Nielsen or Liam Liam Lawson? Liam Lawson should be in the car. That that was the rumor going on. But for some reason, and I have a feeling it has something to do with uh, Logan Sargent's bringing some money. Yeah. Seems to be the only reason they would have kept him. Because remember last year, he had that one race one where race. I thought he 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 drove really great. And that was and Austin, figured it I think out. it was. Austin. I don't remember. No, yeah, no I think it was Miami. Uh, I Anyways, it was, it was one of those races. Right. But And then he never did that stuff again, so that's just luck. And luck is just, I mean, it's better to be lucky than good. But if you do something once, that's just... Dumb luck. If you, you got to do it two or three times to show everyone you know how to do it, and 
I, I still can't figure out what the hell is... Williams don't have an, another tub. It's just, <laughs> okay. Very strange. Very strange. Doesn't okay. And it doesn't look good when James Bowles, you know, you're going over there, now you're the principal, and you don't have a spare tub. It well, doesn't he, look good. He cl- doesn't they look good. clearly don't have the money to make another tub for some reason. Then you better get on the phone, get some sponsors, get that sales team moving. Yeah, but that's not his job. His job. No, but I'm saying he should be like, "Hey, what's going on with the sponsorships? We need more money here." Makes no sense. Uh, Anyways, what's your prediction for Suzuka? A fast, fast track. Um, I think Logan Sargent's going to be on the pole. Um, <laughs> okay, but realistically, what? Oh, remember they have to fix the tub that was broken. I don't know what how they broke it, but I think it was where the uh, suspension bolts mm-hmm. onto it. So they got to tear that apart, redo it. And they can't take it back to the factory. They have to do it in the garage okay. somehow, which they can do it, I guess. Um, and so Logan's going to get probably uh, Albon's broken car. <laughs> Just like, anyways. Um, and I think the Red Bull's going to be really, 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 really good at Suzuka. Yeah, I'm going with a Red Bull 1-2 there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's such a fast track. And it's going to be the third, you know, third and fourth and fifth will either be a uh, a McLaren or a the Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah. And then uh, the Mercedes, which doesn't seem to like to turn the car very no, much. I right think now. Aston Martin's going to be ahead of them. Probably. Yeah. They're midfield. But the, now. the Aston Martin's not a good car either this year. It's like they're, they don't have the pace they had last year. No. Now, maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe Mercedes ahead of Aston Martin, but definitely McLaren ahead, definitely Ferrari ahead. So, you know, Mercedes is going for, you know, 7th place, 6th place. That's probably Well, the, the McLaren's kind of fell off in the in the race the other day. They were yeah, like Norris finished third. Yeah, but they Again, finished. I think this is the he has but now, he was a ways behind. Uh, not too far, but I think now he is the has the most podiums without a win. Who? Oh, Lando. <laughs> and supposedly he just signed a, an extension at, at at McLaren, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, but I don't see he he even said he doesn't want competition, so he, him going to Red Bull wouldn't have worked out. Oh, no one's gonna go to no 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 number. He's a number one driver. He's not gonna go. No one's gonna go to Red Bull. Not none of the number one drivers no. would. I wouldn't. But before okay, and then this is the conspiracy theory okay, this let's week. Hear it. I don't know what the hell is going on at Red Bull, but there's some sort of power struggle to own the team. Um, and I think uh, Christian Horner is going to win because this ridiculous uh, sexual harassment thing is going to is going to event. It's already not going to happen. It's already been basically disproven um, that it, it was real. I have no idea. I think Helmut Marco and the Verstappen family are behind that side of the. The, the thing we don't yeah. know, no yeah. one knows. Right, right. But this is what could happen. Okay. Max Verstappen and Adrian Newey go to Mercedes. If that happens, then the 26 car will be the car to beat. That would be crazy. No, actually, it wouldn't be. Because Adrian Newey's been at, at, at Red Bull for 20 years now. You know, it's the longest stint he's ever been at a, a thing, and he's a little older now. Maybe he wants a new challenge. Or he goes with Lewis to Red to Ferrari. I would love if he went with Lewis because I'd love. But he doesn't want to live. His him and his wife don't want to live in, in Italy, so and he'd but have to live maybe, in Italy. Hey, you know what? It's Ferrari. We'll get you a Lear jet, bro. We'll fly no, you. We'll fly still, you in and out. You still got to live there, though. You can't because John Barnard in like ninety or ninety one became the technical director for Ferrari, but his offices mm. were in England, and it did not work. Okay, so. Even though they had, you know, telephones and fax machines, and it was it was right before emails, you still got to be there, hands on. And it's got to be boots on the ground. It doesn't work any other way. Ask well, Michael Andretti about that. I'm gonna take off my podcast host hat, oh, and God, I'm gonna put on my fan hat. Oh no! If Max, first of all, when Lewis leaves Mercedes, I'm done with them. 
That, I'm going to tell you that right now. You don't know that they no, might. Oh, they I'm, might. They might come out. They might come out with a 26 car and be. Dominated. No, I don't. I don't care. Okay. Once Lewis goes to Ferrari, Mercedes is, is in my mind is done. I'm, I'm Even done if with Max it. goes there. I'm doubly done. If Max goes, <laughs> okay, doubly done. Like no way. But my new obviously, uh, I've been following Mercedes since Lewis got there, and I've always been a McLaren fan because that's where Lewis started. So I still like McLaren. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to be Ferrari and a McLaren fan. Like it'll be Ferrari number one and then McLaren will be number two and Mercedes really, I'm just done with them. I'm already done with them just because of what they've done to Lewis when they got rid of Botas. I didn't like that. I didn't like them bringing on George cause I really thought one point wasn't ready at least for that team. And I, I just, there was something that I would always see in him that I didn't think he, he could win a world championship. So I didn't, I, I just liked, the camaraderie and what Botas and Lewis brought to the team. And I thought that they got rid of him too soon. And yes, maybe he wasn't a number one, but you always were comparing him to Lewis. So he could have been a number one. Who? Uh, Valtteri. No. Val- think Valtteri so? was the, per- he's a perfect number two. You want someone who's going to be like a 10th or so off of Lewis. And that's what he was the whole time he so, was there. So he was you, never a threat to Lewis. No. Doing anything. And that's why I liked it. Because I, when Rosberg was there, Rosberg was just as good as Lewis. He was like, you know. And even the year uh, Rosberg won his championship, who was like a one or two points behind? Lewis. Yeah, but Lewis was one. way behind, and then he won like the last three races. He won the last four races. Yeah. So. And yeah. And I love when he was in the Abu Dhabi race that year in 2016, and they kept bugging him on the on the on the radio about his pace because he was slowing the pace up to try to bring yeah, the other Yeah, well, cars. that's what he has to do. But, and he's like, they kept they kept asking him and he's like, about his pace, he's like, pace is good. That's all he said. <laughs> well, because <laughs> they had already won the Constructors' Championship. Yeah. So was, don't meddle in the Drivers' camp- Championship. But he was trying to back up Yeah, I'd do it too. Of course it. Trying to win, man. Super criticized for it by the team and Rosberg. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. Go ahead and criticize me. I'll be counting my checks and... You'll be gone because you can't handle the heat. You're going to retire, and I'll still be here. All right, what, what's next? That's it, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Sherman's going to the next race. He'll have live feeds coming to you on the YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to do the... some live feeds from um you got to go into the office from there. From Kyoto, and say... from Osaka, from Suzuka. Where are you staying at? Tokyo hey, or Osaka? Hey, 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 hey. I don't want to divulge what plane I'm on. I don't want to say what hotel I'm at. Okay, don't sure. don't do that. Sherman is leaving on Japan Airlines don't, flight don't 332 do okay. at, at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. The blah blah blah. Don't tell. <laughs> That's don't so ask <laughs> about my business. Are we are we off? No, but if you're going to the Suzuka race. Give us a DM on our Instagram, uh, America Media F1, and we can meet up for sake. We can meet up for coffee, or put a comment down in our on our YouTube channel, or send a comment to our Twitter channel, or go to our um, TikTok. Which I hope they don't get rid of TikTok because we're really, really popular. I'm not getting rid of TikTok. On TikTok. And don't forget to buy a Doobie Energy Drink and press the F1 America F1 button. Keep on racing, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing.